The genre is, is first and foremost responding to what the audience is experiencing. In the early 1960s, Alfred Hitchcock makes The Birds, right, which is an animal attacks movie. But we didn't suddenly see, you know, a movie called Squirrels and a movie called oh, Frogs. We saw Frogs later in the 1970s when we had another successful animal attacks film, Jaws. What it changed is no one was really thinking all that much about environmental issues when Hitchcock's Birds came out. But by the early 1970s, right, we've had the Clean Air Act, we've had the birth of the modern environmental movement, we have suddenly this sense that, wait a minute, human beings maybe are not God's last word. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? The cornerstone of blockbuster cinema uh, is science fiction. And it really has been the cornerstone since uh, Star Wars in 1977. I'd forgotten how much I hate space travel. Westerns never really go away. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! Westerns never go away because the central problems and themes of the Western never go away. I'm your huckleberry. We're watching a number of genres seem to play out. You know, the zombie thing is kind of, kind of getting a little quiet. The vampire thing seems to have have leveled out a little bit. I guess the rom-com is out of fashion. We're not, we're not seeing a lot of A-list stars, or for that matter, A-list directors doing things that we would, we would think of as romantic comedy. Are you Annie? Yes. The rom-com will never be dead. As long, in, in the same way the Western will never be dead. As long as there are people yearning for the peculiar kind of fantasy that romantic comedy sells, you never believe a media obituary. <laughs>